Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Suicidal KF Rig. And uh, today, I, uh, I messed up. Alright? Uh, today I was supposed to play D&D this morning at, uh, I was supposed to get up at 8 a.m. to, uh, to play some D&D. And, uh, I forgot. I just, I thought it was tomorrow, but it was today. Um, so I woke up at like 12.31-ish, somewhere in that sort of range, and I had, uh, you know, last night I had been drinking a little. I wasn't drunk, but, uh, you know, I, I had been drinking enough that I didn't really want to be bothered when I was sleeping, so I turned my notifications off on my phone. Um, and, uh, I wasn't able to be woken up when they were messaging me, um, because... I turned the notifications off, so I, I ended up waking up and being like, "Yeah, I just completely forgot." And there, there, like, there isn't a worse feeling than when you make plans with somebody, especially like a group of people, and when you're like the center of attention for it. You know, like I'm the DM of this group; they can't play if I'm not there, right? If somebody else doesn't show up, we'd we'd probably still skip the session if somebody else doesn't make it um but that's only because we kind of have like one person who's just kind of perpetually not showing up um but you know if, if they were to come back and one other person was to be gone we'd still play you know like one of one one person being missing is is fine we just like always have the same person missing so um it kind of feels like it isn't really a thing um you know one person being not there is is fine me being that one person is not fine. They cannot play without me. I am the god of the 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 the, the world that they play within. You know, like I create it, I run it, I design it, and like plan every aspect of it. Without me there, they have no clue what's happening. You know, from from like uh, the 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 more overall scheme, they they have an idea of you know what they're getting themselves into as they they start up an adventure or whatever, but. They, they, they couldn't just, like, play the session without me there. Like, I have to be there. So when, when you wake up and... It's like... Yeah, you just forgot that you play today. And everybody was, like, talking in the Discord. Like, hey, anybody know where Shar is? Anybody know where Shar is? You know, it's just... It's just such a bad feeling. Now, you know, I also, like... I, I miss sessions on occasion. Uh, because we we play with um, with some people overseas, uh, over in you know Britain, occasionally China, even um, mostly not there though. Mostly mostly there in uh, like uh, Britain. Um. So you know when 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 I when we play, we have to play really really like tomorrow. We're gonna be, I have to get up at six a.m. Right, and that's like. Not even the earliest that I've had to get up for a D and D session before. Like, like I have to get up very, very early for some of these sessions to play. And sometimes the night before just doesn't mean that I'm going to be able to do that. You know, sometimes it's just not possible for for me to do. It. Especially before I started doing CBD, um, you know, I had a lot of trouble sleeping some nights. Um, these days, you know, I just take some CBD and I, I'll, I'll fall asleep like uh, like a baby, but um, and then stay asleep like a seven year old. But, um, I, uh, oh, I missed the shot, dude. Um, but, you know, some, sometimes it just doesn't work out, and sometimes things come up or whatever, and, and, you know, I'll have to cancel it. And I still feel bad, because I'm, like, the, 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 the person, again, who, who dictates whether or not the session exists, right? Like, if I'm there, we play. If I'm not, we don't play, basically, right? So when, I, when I'm not there, it kind of lets down a, a bunch of people, and I feel really bad about that. But when something comes up, and it's like, yeah, I just I couldn't sleep. I'm not going to be able to run a good session. We're not going to have fun today. It just isn't going to work. You know, it's unfortunate, and I feel bad. Um, but at the same time, like, it's just it's just kind of par for the course when you're, when you're playing with people overseas like that. There isn't really any getting around it. So... You know, 
I, I still feel better about that. But when, but when it's just, I forgot. The only reason we didn't play today is because I forgot we were playing today. Like it, it, it just that 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 responsibility falls solely on me. You know, like there isn't any external influence. It's just I forgot. You know, there, there's no more to it. I messed up, and and I let everybody down. And you know, the the they're okay with it you know they they understand we're gonna be playing tomorrow it's fine um you know and but I, I still feel just so so terribly bad about it it uh it didn't ruin my day you know like i'm, I'm not somebody who's gonna work themselves up about it that much you know like i i think the people who are going to that extent um are, are typically just like searching for attention or something um because you know at the end of the day we life carries on and, and we're we're gonna be fine to go and stuff, but um you know, you gotta also recognize that you made a mistake and that uh you're you you feel bad about it. At the very least, right? But they're okay with it, we're gonna be playing tomorrow. Uh unfortunately tomorrow was an even earlier wake up. Like I said, I was gonna be getting up at eight AM this morning to play. Tomorrow I'll have to get up at six AM. It's just gonna be disgusting, um, but I'm gonna make it work anyway. Uh, tonight will definitely be a CBD night. Tonight will, without any shadow of a doubt, uh, CBD will be required for me to fall asleep and uh, and, uh, and and make sure that I can actually, you know, get get somewhat of a good night's sleep um, for the the 6 a.m. wake up tomorrow. Especially because I'm not usually asleep at that time. You know, like I'm usually. Not even like getting ready for bed at that point, you know. Like, like it's not. I go to sleep pretty late generally, so. Um, but it, but it, like the the session would just be a little bit too long, I think. If I were to just forego sleep and uh, stay up, I I think it would be a little bit too long, and towards the end of the session, I'd be pretty tired. But. I don't know. I, like I woke up at one o'clock today. You know, we're gonna be finishing up the session at probably eleven. So that gives me like twenty-two hours of of wakefulness, which is totally doable if I were to just stay up until the session. But um, I'd rather just go to sleep. I think. I'm not sure. I'll have to make my decision. It's very doable for me to stay up though if I wanted to do that. Anyway, I felt really bad about it. Perfect. Pod is open again. Felt terrible. Let's just just crushed me when I woke up and I saw those messages, you know? You know how to stay alive out there. It's just like a smack right in the face. You're a disappointment. Not really, but like, you know, this kind of. <laughs> it's just the worst feeling. It's just the worst. Time's up. Go I got good friends, though. They're, they, they're, they're okay with it. They understand. And again, like I said, like... Yeah, at the, at the end of the day, it, it's it's hard making it work. Um, you know, as the person who has to get up the earliest, the, I'm the only person on the West Coast. Literally, everybody else in the in the group is is uh, you know, farther ahead in the the time zone structure than me. Um, so we're always playing. Like the, the latest that I that I, that I end up playing is. Like I have to get up at like 9 a.m. That's that's the latest that I have to get up for a for a D and D session with this group, um, which is like, you know, bad, but manageable. Um, it's like the typical session, but uh, yeah, it's just a, a disaster, man. But you know. It's what it is. Anyway, like like as, as the person over on the the westest of the the time zones, I, I think it's reasonable for me to be the one most affected by the uh, being ready at the start of the session. Anyway, um, and I, I think that people generally kind of realize that, um, because yeah, like like just. It's ridiculous, but you know, I'd, I'd rather get up at 6 a.m. tomorrow and, and play D&D really early in the morning uh, than not play D&D, right? Like, it's not even 
a hard decision. It's it's obvious. Like it's it's strictly better. It's better in in any respect. You know, like like playing D and D is better than not playing it. I don't care what time we're playing. It, it's it's vastly superior to to not playing it. Stupid pre enraged quarter pounds and garbage. Oh, he's coming up over here, hey. Something fun's coming. Ooh, boy. coming up on both sides. Coming up all over sides. We're beset on all sides. By uh the army of flesh walls. Is that a real one? No. I like how they're um they're like engines only run <laughs> when they're on the ground. Like when they jump, all of a sudden their engines like halt. You can hear the whirring and then they uh they uh they'll fall off of like an edge or something and it just stops for a moment and then restarts when they get to the ground. It's like it only works when they're uh you know whatever electrical engineering is in there it is uh is relying on the ground to be uh through like the the quarter pounds feet or something. Oh yeah. So when the uh, when the ground gets disconnected it, uh, it just like auto turns off or something. I'm not trying to headshot, I'm just trying to kill quickly. I was gonna go for headshots at first, and then I was like, eh, nah. It doesn't need to happen. It doesn't need to happen, dude. It's all good, it's all good. My sister was home today. I was, uh,. Uh, so we've got we've got two bath well we've got three bathrooms in this household. Um, we have the one we almost didn't manage to get all of the stuff there. Uh, we got the one in my parents' room upstairs in their master bedroom with the uh, with the bathroom. Um, then we have a uh, sort of just general upstairs bathroom. Uh, and then we have a bathroom downstairs, uh, right next to my room, uh, which we built when we bought the house. Um, so, the bathroom downstairs is the nicest one, because we built it. <laughs> the bathtub is still too small to be, like, comfortable. Um, but it, it's substantially bigger than the upstairs one, and uh, much, much, much nicer to have a bath in. Um, so my sister wanted to have a bath today, and she was going up for have a bath downstairs, uh, because again, the bathtub's just, like, a lot more comfortable if you're gonna be going for, like, a, a long bath. We don't have a shower down here, but, um, well, we, we, we have, like, a detachable shower head on the bathtub, but there's no, like, place to mount it, or, or, or like, a curtain, or, or, or a wind, like, a door, or anything like that, you know? So, like, you can't really, like, shower in it, um... It's just for bath, and then, you know, if you need to spray your butt down or whatever, like, you got it. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I'm feeling generous. I have a bath pillow that I, that I, uh, have in the bathtub, because, like, if you're going for a bath, and you're going to be in there for, like, an hour, two hours, you know, three hours, you, ne you need a bath pillow, okay? It's 100% necessary. Uh, you absolutely need the bath pillow because it makes such a huge difference to the comfort of the uh, to the bath. And if you don't know what a bath pillow is, it's a pillow that doesn't get destroyed by water, so it's just like mesh, right? That's just kind of like packed inside of a mesh basket, so it's it's reasonably soft. And uh, the, the water like and just load. flows directly through it because it's it's just a mesh, you know. Um, or uh, you know, there 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 are some fancier ones that uh, aren't necessarily meshes, but kind of operate on a similar idea. Uh, it's just a very very um, like it's it's made out of some kind of a material that that allows the water. To uh, like drip off of it very very easily, without getting caught and absorbed and stuff, you know. Um, so anyway, the bath pillow that I have is white, 
Well, was white. <laughs> you see where it's going? Uh, my sister has dyed hair. And, uh... So when, she, when she's going in for the bath, she's like, Do you mind if I make your bath pillow pink? And I'm like, eh, whatever. Like, it's, it doesn't really matter. You know? You 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 stain the the bath pillow with some pink, but the the bath pillow doesn't stain you afterwards. You know what I mean? Um, kind of rinse it off, clean it up a little bit, and you're good to go. It's not gonna like dye your hair. There's just just like even if even if it was gonna like spread onto you, there just isn't enough dye there to really make like a noticeable impact on the color of your hair. Cause like my hair especially is rather dark. So like, it just, like, even if it were to bleed into my hair from the bath pillow, like there just isn't enough dye that bleeds out of your hair onto the bath pillow that would then bleed off of the bath pillow <laughs> after it's been like rinsed off um, back into your hair. Like it just, it it's just completely not reasonable, right? Um, so, but she was right. <laughs> I uh, I went down to the uh, to the bathroom later on because it's the bathroom that I use when I have to you use the washroom for anything, right? It's downstairs. Um, so I uh, I went down. And, yeah, the bath pillow was just pink, which is fun. But uh, yeah, no, she doesn't have too many baths. It's convenient for me because the bathtub is directly next to my room, so sometimes it's you know like midnight. 1 a.m., whatever, right? And I'll be like, you know what? Screw it, I'm going for a bath. And I'll hop into the bathtub and... You know, have a, have a nice relaxing bath. 2, 3 a.m., I get out and I'm good to go. It's also convenient being there. Um, because, like... It's just kind of convenient cleaning myself. Like, instead of having a shower. Um, on occasion. Because sometimes, you know, like, the shower is used or being used when I want to go in there or somebody's just taking a mad dump and I just like don't want to deal with the smell or you know whatever like sometimes it's just not really doable to uh to have a shower in the upstairs like primary bathroom right well the bathtub downstairs is always free at like 1 a.m so uh, I often end up cleaning myself in the in the bathtub at the middle of the night I find it's quicker too with uh, with a bathtub because it's like it's more uncomfortable than standing. Like if, if you're not having a bath, and honestly, like if I'm having a bath, I typically clean myself before I go into the bath anyway. Um, otherwise, you're just kind of wallowing in a tub full of filthy you. You know, like it's just, it's just kind of gross, right? Like no matter how no matter how good you know of a job you're doing when you're you know wiping and stuff, no matter how good of a job you're doing when you're, you know, trying not to, like, sweat and stuff. Like, there's a reason you're having a bath, you know? There's a reason you're washing your hair and, like, you know, scrubbing your body down with soap and a loofah and, you know, all this. Like, there's there's a reason you're cleaning yourself, right? It's because you're dirty. Um. You know? And, uh, you may not be that dirty, but to me, I'm just like, yeah, but you're dirty enough to be clean, so, like, why would I want to clean myself and then sit in that water? Like, that just seems disgusting to me. Um, so I'll typically, uh, before I actually have the bath, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll turn on the tap for the, um, the, uh, like, shower head. And, uh... Where are you? You be dead. Where are you? There you are. I'll I'll turn on the tap for the the um shower head, right? And I'll I'll clean at least like the problem areas. You know what I mean? Um there are a few hot spots for filth. Um you know, armpits and um, the, the groin area, the butt, Final hair, Enemies 
Yeah. You know, there, there, there are some areas that just happen to pick up a lot more filth. You know, your hands are probably, generally speaking, rather clean when you get into the shower anyway. Um, you know, arms probably also fairly clean. Legs, generally speaking, tend to be fairly clean. Um, so a lot of it I'll, I'll end up cleaning in the bath just so I don't, like, waste too much water. But, like, some of the, the more areas that are, that are a little bit more problematic, I, uh... I like to just clean ahead of time, you know? Places that pick up a lot of grease, you know, areas that, that tend to get very sweaty and, um, you know, whatnot. And then I'll, then I'll hop into the bath and uh, relax for a bit, and then towards the end of the bath I will uh, sort of like clean up, drain the water, and, and, uh, and have a good time, but a lot of people don't do that. I think that's like typical for like a lot of cultures though, right? Like, it's, it's weird for a lot of cultures that we do that. That we, like, just get into the, the tub while we're dirty. I think, um, I think that Japan... You know, let's, let's look at this. I, I'm pretty sure Japan is one of them. Um, cultures where you wash before the bath. Bath traditions around the world... I'm pretty sure it's like mostly Western culture where you wash in the bath rather than before the bath. Um, <laughs> I hope you can't see this because this is super not safe for work stuff right now. It's pictures of people bathing. <laughs> uh, I'm not. I'm not seeing what I want. Wash before bath. I don't know. It's just, it's just a lot of like, you know, top ten tips to. Make your bath better. Kind of nonsense. Um, but I'm pretty sure over in Japan, uh, they tend to wash themselves before they have a bath. Um, traditionally, anyway. I, I, like I, Again, I haven't actually been to Japan. I just know from uh, anime and manga. Like, they, you know, they, they're... I'm going to talk about anime and manga, I guess, for the, the rest of this episode. But um, any kind of media from a culture is always going to reflect that culture's values to at least a certain extent, right? And as the viewer, it's your responsibility to make sure that you aren't confusing the hyperbole um, for the literal, right? Um, so you have to kind of look at things and, and recognize that what you're watching is a work of fiction, not like a, a documentary on the habits of people from the culture where this fictional media was created, right? But these things that happen in uh, in any kind of media from any kind of culture are going to reflect things in that culture. Like, for instance, um, uh, you know, like, we'll 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 take an, an obvious one here, right? Uh, in Japanese media, anime, manga, etc., um, they're going to use honorifics with people's names, right? That's not because the they're like, you know, glorifying Japanese culture. It's because that's just how you talk to people in Japanese. Um, you know? Um, but they're also going to oftentimes make an over-glorified showing of, uh, of how anime and, and manga is portrayed and accepted um, in Japan as well. Now, mind you, it is a lot more prevalent uh, over there than over here because it is literally a media that was created over there. So, like you know, but uh, you know, oftentimes they will they will over glorify it because you know that's that's what they do. It, 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 it's, it's anime. They're going to make anime seem better than it is, right? Like that's obvious. It's the main focus, right? Um, 
you know, like uh, a lot of American media will often have guns in it. Um, even even just like normally, like you'll there'll there'll just be guns in the background and scenes that have nothing to do with guns, because American culture oftentimes has a lot to do with 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 uh, with guns, right? Like they they like their guns. Um, so when when an American makes media, oftentimes there will be guns in the background. So you kind of have to, you know, when when you're watching media from any kind of culture, you you can learn bits and pieces about how that culture kind of views certain topics and and how they uh, approach certain topics through, you know, kind of aggravating, not aggravating, but uh, through through kind of um, you know. Almost like research. <laughs> uh, you know, if you, if you watch a lot of manga, there's going to be a lot of. If you watch a lot of anime, if you watch a lot of manga, read a lot of manga, there's going to be a lot of things that happen um, over all of them, and then uh, a lot of like translator notes, and um, you know, you might be talking to some Japanese people or whatever, uh, and pick up bits and bobs or whatever. Um, same thing with with people from other cultures who are. Um, watching, you know, American or Canadian media or whatever. Um, so so it, it's not like you can't learn about a culture through their media. It's just that a lot of people don't bother separating what is real from what is not, right? They don't they don't bother to like make that difference, you know what I mean? Because there is a lot of it is is made is built up for the for the camera, so to speak, right? So you can't just like watch an anime and think that you know you're allowed to go over there and start harassing four-year-old girls, because that's not how it works, you know. But um, you could go over there and and you know if you watch enough anime, you, you you could go over there and maybe find a sushi restaurant to eat at, you know, Some, something practical, something realistic. Um, and, uh, you know, one of, one of the things that, that happens a lot in, uh, in anime or manga is, uh, is baths, right? Cause it's a lot of, it's, it's a great opportunity to put some fan service in the, uh, in the, in the series. Um, and as you watch more and more of them and you see more and more bath scenes, um, you notice more and more that, uh, you know, more often than not, a person is going to be... Um, cleaning themselves outside of the bath before they get into the bath, right? And oftentimes there'll be like, um, you know, one bath drawn for the whole family, you know? So like, everybody, you know, so you know, like, you know, I would go in and, uh, and clean myself and then soak in the bath for a bit uh, and then come out, then you would go in, clean yourself off, soak in the same bath water for a bit and come out. That also happens a lot in anime and manga. I don't know how far that one goes, because that one starts to feel like almost fetishized. Because um, it often comes up as a like, I'm going to be in her bathwater, you know? And it's like, I don't know. But then at the same time, like this does kind of fall into the same category of there's no way that would make it into media if the people who were going to be reading it couldn't relate to that. You know what I mean? Like, it wouldn't make it there if there, if it wasn't something relatable about that. So I'm sure it's something that happens. I just I don't know how necessarily how prevalent it is. Um, but uh, definitely that, that you would wash yourself before going into the bath. Again, since it happens so much, there's, they, they wouldn't just make it up. It's not like an anime-exclusive concept. Like, it's it's based on real culture. To, to what extent? I don't know. I, I haven't lived in Japan. I don't know... You know, if it's a thing that anybody does before they go out of the bath, or if it's a thing that, you know, more traditional families do, or or whatever, you know? Like, if it's an older thing, or, like, you know, you don't you don't know that kind of stuff. But you know that, uh, at the very least, it's, uh, it's a well-known thing uh, in Japanese culture. Because it happens so often, and they wouldn't make that a thing in anime if it, if it weren't something that, uh, that their audience was going to be able to recognize and, and relate to because it, there would just be no point you know like you wouldn't see that happening in uh, in American Canadian like even British media you know 
because over here, typically what we do is we just hop into the bath and then have a bath. And uh, don't worry about cleaning up beforehand. But, uh... Yeah, I believe that most places over... I, I believe that anywhere where, where there is any sort of, like, um... Culture surrounding, like, bathing. Anywhere that has, like, uh... Like, lots of hot springs and... Um, public bathhouses and and stuff like that is is probably typically going to have that same kind of uh, cultural stigma about washing yourself before you get into the bath, uh, because you're sharing that bath water with so many other people. You don't want to like let your filth infect other people. You know what I mean? Um, but just uh, yeah, I don't know. Kind of got rambled about the the manga and the anime and stuff. You you can learn things from watching fictional media from other cultures because again, it's just. Whatever they put in there has to be relatable to some extent. So you'd have to use your use your noggin to kind of look at it and be like, to what extent would this be relatable? You know, in what way would this be relatable? Is this like a superhero thing? Is this you know whatever? You, you can kind of look at it and be like, yeah, no, it seems like it's probably a thing that uh, tends to happen. And then you can start to Google it and like research it if it interests you enough and learn stuff through the uh, through the sort of like things that are taken for granted. In the, uh, in the culture and the media. Uh, anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.